Welcome to 15 Minute Theatre, the only review show that squeezes a whole production into 900 seconds. The date is the 7th of May 2019, and we have just been to see 9 to 5. Open the house. Vicky. All right, James. What's going on? Oh, this and that. Oh, really? This and that? Yeah. How about you? I'm all right, thanks. I've just noticed, we're sitting in James's office, and I've just noticed that there was a toilet roll on some drumsticks. This room is neither a toilet nor has a drum kit in it. What's going on? <laughs> well, I don't like spending money when I don't have to. Yeah. Saying that, so if you why look did around, you, it's this room why is did, full of stuff. <laughs> why did you buy a, uh, some drumsticks when you don't have a drum kit then? I think someone gave them to me once. Okay, all right. Uh, but they now ha- serve as a handy tissue dispenser. <laughs> tissue. For my eyes. Tissue for your eyes. <laughs> anyway, enough of this frivolity. Let's talk about something less frivolous. Okay. Okay, so we have just been to see Frivolous. <laughs> that Didn't write that down. Anyway, before we start that, I thought I should mention this. Um, we've got, uh, we are now on YouTube, for um, for those of you who don't know. Get out of town. But if you're listening, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because no, everyone he can hear us. But we've got um, a message from Travelling Mike. Oh yeah, what did Travelling Mike say? Um, he's talking about um, our review of Come From Away. Oh yeah. And he said, I think you need to re-watch the show if you don't think there was a lot of choreography. Pay attention to the choreo sitting on the bus, on the airplanes, reconfiguring the set. Um, well look, I think that's... It's an absolutely fair point. It is a fair point. I yeah. thought the movement, I'd call that movement. Well, no, it is I think, I suppose. yeah, I think probably we were just thinking about dancing, which there wasn't a lot of, but actually he is... You make his, a fair point. Yeah. But look, let's be very clear here, uh, Travelling Mike, we loved that show. Yeah, it was wonderful. Yeah, and it's one that I'd certainly go back and see. Oh, I'd definitely see it again, yeah. yeah. So um, I think he's right. And listen, it is just our opinion, isn't it? Yeah. We, I had another email and I did want to read it out but I lost it and I honestly did lose it. I couldn't find it. And um, it was someone being very angry about our review of... Um, a German Life. A German Life. And, it. I mean, it's just our opinion. Yeah. Yeah? Of course. We're not We're not critics. And the people say I mean, we are critics us. in our own way. We are a little bit. But, you know... Anyway, look, it's fine. Everyone, you know... People everyone, have different, different opinions. Different tastes. Uh, but please, if you've got a comment, send it in and we will read them out, good or bad. Yeah. Um, but we are 15 minutes here, so we have to keep it short. Yes, let's so, crack on. Shall I give you a fact file? Uh, a fact file? Yeah. Okay. All right, so this is adapted from the 80s movie, which was called 9 to 5. I'll get out of town. It, the musical was written um, and songs uh, by a Miss Dolly Parton. The fabulous Dolly Parton. The fabulous Dolly Parton. Directed by Jeff Calhoun. Yep. Musical director Andrew Hilton. Yep. Choreographer by Lisa Stevens. Yeah. Um, designer was Tom Rogers. Yeah. Um, and notable actors Louise Redknapp, Amber Davis, Natalie McQueen, Brian Connolly, and the wonderful Bonnie oh, Langford. Bonnie we'll Langford. Going further a bit. It's at the Savoy Theatre and it's running to the thirty first of August, two thousand nineteen, and it ran for two hours and forty minutes, including the interval. Okay. So a good length. All right. So. Victoria, would you be kind enough to give us the synopsis? <laughs> um, so, yeah, so if you've seen the film of 9 to 5, that's pretty much what the synopsis is. It's three ladies working in an office. They've got a horrible male chauvinistic boss who doesn't treat them very well. And they are they extract their revenge. They sure do, indeed. Yep. Um, anyway. Right, so let's start about... Did you like it? Did I like it? I'm going to say no, not really. I think we had great expectations, didn't we? We were we were sitting there and the set looked quite good. Well, the thing is, Dolly Parton is wonderful. Yeah. And she's done. She's written some amazing tunes, and her whole persona is fabulous, and she was great in that film. So I think I expected. I expected it to be. Not maybe the best thing ever, but I expected it to be really good fun, and I expected to enjoy it. Yeah. Now, there was a few surprises for me that I wasn't expecting. What were those? Um, so, let's talk a little bit about the actors. So, Brian Connolly, 
um, with a uh, male lead, basically. Yeah, we did look at the cast before. Yeah, then, did we? I'm, I'm, I'm just personally never been a fan of Brian. Um, I'm not a fan either. And I, I, it really didn't work for me. He was kind of, it was almost like a seaside peer entertainer. Coming. It was like someone from the 80s, from a like 70s, 80s TV show. Oh, he just kept grabbing his crotch and it was, oh, it was yeah. also over the top. And, and we know he's supposed to be a horrible sexist character, but it, it's he, also... He really played it for laughs. It was almost yeah. like, you know, he'd pause to get a laugh. It was like pantomime. Oh, it was, it was dreadful. Yeah. yeah. Um, what about the three um, female leads? Well, I, di- I didn't mind Louise Redknapp. Yeah. She's, she's actually got a lovely singing voice. I, well, I thought all three of them had a good voice. Yeah, they all had good voices. I just felt like they were all... Especially Louise and Amber yeah. were quite wooden. Yeah, a I little felt. bit. I thought Louise was all right, she was. I think she was the best of the three of them. And the other one you found really irritating, didn't you? Yeah, so, they've got, so the, um, the woman who played um, Dolly Parton's character. Yeah. To begin with, I really liked her. But... It just started to grate on me. I just thought it was too extreme. She was sort of more Dolly than Dolly, wasn't she? Yeah. And yeah. I think, you know, to really get the characterisation and feeling for these characters as well. I know it's a big, fun comedy, yeah. but it was just a bit too much. I think if Louise had been surrounded by more tolerable people, yeah. her performance would have been a lot more yeah, maybe. easy on that. Because she was a constant, wasn't she, really? Yeah. If she'd have been surrounded by all saints, maybe maybe it would have worked. <laughs> Do their little square dancing that they used to do. Yeah. Oh. Right, so uh, there was one person we haven't mentioned. Oh, Bonnie Langford. Uh, now, you have a celebrity connection to Bonnie Langford. Well, sort of. I know Bonnie Langford's niece, Danny. Hello, Danny, if you're listening. You're probably not, but if you are, hello. Okay, what do we think of Bonnie? Bonnie was the best thing, isn't it? Hands down. Oh, she is pro through and through. And I don't mean a prostitute. I <laughs> I couldn't get over how flexible she is. She's brilliant. I, I mean, know she's a da- you know she's a dancer, but that that woman can bend. Do you know what? <laughs> I can safely say I followed that woman's career. Have you? Because obviously she was in Bugsy Malone. Yeah. Then she was in Doctor Who. Yeah. Was she in Bugsy Malone? Yeah. Oh God, she was. Yeah, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh wow. So you know, I think she's great, but she did a startling performance. She was definitely the best thing in yeah. it. Yeah, and her her solo was amazing. Yeah, she was good, yeah. We like Bonnie. All right. What do we think of the songs? I was a bit disappointed. I, just, I, I mean, I love Dolly, but I just... There's nothing that really I really remember, really. The problem was, you've got a br- brilliant song with 9 to 5. Yeah. And they had to overuse it. Well, they didn't have to, but they did overuse it. Yeah. Um... But Dolly has got such an amazing back catalogue. I was thinking the other day, because you know she wrote I Will Always Love You, the Whitney Houston. I do know that, yeah. Yeah. Now, if that's hers, why didn't she put sticking things like that in? Would have been brilliant. Well, I mean, I'm, I don't know this, but I'm presuming that she didn't want to try and work it around songs she's already got and she wanted to create a But there was a big piece. love scene at the end, wasn't there? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I... it just didn't, I just, I thought the songs, like there was another song that, Sounded a bit like Coat of Many Colours, but wasn't Coat of Many Colours. Back through the years. <laughs> oh, great song. So that didn't work for me. I found the characters a bit annoying. I just didn't love it. No. Didn't love it. No. What no. about what about the narrative, the story? Well, I mean, it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's we like three the story. ladies the taking fine. some revenge. Uh, I did like. I'll tell you what I did like. I like the set. I like the way they. I like the way they use the eighties. Yeah. I like the way that they portrayed women in the eighties and oh. showed them coming good. I just remembered something that really annoyed me. Oh yeah. Because the whole thing was about like the men in the office being really macho and yeah. not treating women very well, and I found the the dancing in the office sort of belied that. Do you know, yeah. there were like lots of guys dancing around, and I and I was kind of like, you're not giving the impression here that 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 women are, are you know, that all the men are treating the women badly and yes. stuff, and they were, they and they're all, not all being really chauvinistic and stuff because they're all like, they're you all know, like camp, yeah, they, yeah. And I just, I just like, not there's anything wrong with campness, but I, no. I just kind of felt like it didn't really tie in with it. That sort of annoyed yeah. me a bit. Um, brings us on to special effects. Yeah. Um. So. 
uh, without giving a spoiler, there's, there's like just before the interval, there's kind of, I suppose, the special effects, including um, yeah. Mr. Brian Connolly. Again, it, it, I, it's, I just can't don't find him. I think the watchable. problem is him. I think that's the problem. I think yeah. he sort of soured it a bit, isn't I it? I think he really did. I think if you've got somebody else in there, do that. But, it's, but there were but lot lots of... of people love him. Yeah, and there were a lot of people who clearly really enjoyed it. And I think if you're a big Brian Connolly fan, then you'll love it. Yeah. And if you're not, then you'll hate it. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So I suppose it really um, just comes down to... Um, oh, can I, I, um, did we say um, the voices I thought were excellent? Yeah, they're, 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 yeah, they yeah. were good singers. Yeah, they were all really good singers. So well done for that. Um, what was his stand-up? <laughs> Patronising. <laughs> <laughs> what was his stand-up moment? Bonnie's song. Yes. Yeah, she's the best. Oh, it was brilliant. It yeah. was brilliant. She's very Until good. about three quarters of the way through. Well. No, it was brilliant. It no, was brilliant. she's good. All right, should we take a break and then we'll come back and score it? Let's do that. So, all right, audience antics. Well, for a start, I've never been to the Savoy before. I have. Imagine my surprise when we were right in the gods, yeah. yet we didn't have to go up any stairs. We were at one flight. Did we? We were at one flight. Stairs. Yeah, but it's underground, basically, isn't it? Which yeah, the main, the, the main auditorium is, is yeah. under the ground. Right, the audience, I love this. They had a great time, didn't they? I mean, the, theatres for, you know, theatre should, shouldn't be exclusive and it should be for everyone and I think this has certainly got a, a market and a crowd. And, yeah, definitely. You know, um, maybe we're just a bit pious. I think I think the problem, I, well, no, I know the people that haven't liked it. I, I, it's, not, it's not the worst thing ever, but it just wasn't my cuppa. Yeah, fair enough. Right, should we score it? Let's do it. Okay, so we are going to have performances, staging, narrative, originality, choreography, costume, music, and was it worth it? We'll have all of them today. Okay. Okay, so let's start off with performances. Vicky. I'm going to go for a six. I have also gone for a six. Oh, get you. Staging and technical, I thought it was good, and the technical things worked. I'm going to give it a nine. I'm going to go for an eight. Narrative plot, I'm going to give it an 8 because I knew the story. There was no surprises there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a 7. Okay, originality? Uh, I'm going to give it a 6. I've given it a 3. Um, choreography, it gets a... Uh, do you know what? It gets a 7 because of Bonnie. Okay, I'll give it a 7 as well. Costume, wasn't anything special. 6 for me. Uh, yeah, I'd agree with that. I'd go for six. Music. I don't oh, want to be too I'm hard. sorry, Bon. I'm yeah. sorry, Dolly, but... I'm going to give it a five. I'm going to give it a six. And was it worth it? It gets a five from me. I'm going to give it a five as well. Yeah. Um, okay, so, while I add up these all in... Put all in my calculator. Oh, yeah, you should, yeah, use, should, it. You should, should use a calculator. Well, I add up these scores. Would you be kind enough to tell the audience what we're going to see next? So the next thing we're going to see... Oh, sorry, we're too very tiny you on. Um, we're going to see Sweet Charity at the Donmar Warehouse, which I... Well, quite, it was quite hard to get tickets for. So i am got high hopes for this one. Uh, I haven't seen the film all the way through, but I've seen a bit of it and enjoyed it. And I'm just sort of waffling now till James does the scores. I've nearly done them. Okay, come on. It's Mo- hard. Come on, move the fingers. He's very close, he's very close. He's tip-top tapping. <laughs> <laughs> he's using his fingers to point at things on the page. I think this is longer than when Ooh. he does his head maths. <laughs> I love head maths. Okay, all right. So, after all those calculations, yep. it gets a star rating of 2.62. Oh, that's not high, is it? No. Um, it places it um, above a German life, yep. um, um, but below an American clock. Okay. Um, I'm all right with that. I'm all right with it. Do you know what? Can I do remember Lee when we're leaving saying, I would have preferred to have sat through three wider Earths. Yeah, which you didn't love. But actually no. now, I feel maybe we should have scored more highly. Do you know what? The more it go, goes in the past, the wider earth, the more I liked it. I feel you're looking at the past through roast into glasses. I know, but I feel like... 
You gave me a spirit of adventure. Okay, fine. And on that note, there's another note with Peter Bell. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, that means we're out of time, Vic. Oh, that's sad, isn't it? Well, thanks for listening. As ever, I've been James. I've been Vicky. And um, if you do want to contact us, we're now on YouTube. Um, you can find us on Facebook. You can tweet us on Twitter. We're really bad at social media. So, if... I let James handle that. <laughs> <laughs> I handle everything. I know. But you're wonderful. Thanks. You are talent and creativity. <laughs> Thanks. We're about to go. So the, th- the curtain's dark, the theatre's dark, and the curtain's down. The curtain's down, the theatre's <laughs> dark. And that was 15 Minute Theatre. Good night, y'all. Good night. If you're brave enough to have your theatre production reviewed, please contact us at 15minutetheatre at gmail.com. Find us on Twitter and please rate and review us on iTunes. Thanks for listening.